Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and this is Robin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video, I am going to talk about the non-characteristic harmonics and I have included some important points, so let's crack one by one. So if I talk about the what are the non-characteristic harmonics, so you first understand what is the characteristic harmonics. So if I talk about the characteristic harmonic, so it simply follows of one mathematical formula that is NP or you can mathematical relation that is the NP plus minus one where the N is your integer and the P is a pulse number. So if you require the six of pulse thyristor, so you have to use the P equal to six and the N will be the integer and accordingly you will have this different types of harmonics. So what are the actually non-characteristic harmonics? So you have to remember the which does not follow that relation that is the NP plus minus one relation is not followed by any harmonics. Then it is called the non-characteristic. So you are having the characteristic harmonics and the non-characteristic harmonics. So what are the characteristics? Follows NP plus minus one. What are the non-characteristic? Not follows LP plus minus one. So that is the written here. The harmonics of the order other than the characteristic harmonics order. The characteristic harmonics order is simply that relation which I have explained NP plus minus one. If that relation is followed, let us say if we are talking about the six pulse converter, six pulse converter. So what happens in the six pulse converter, we are having six pulses in one cycle. So if we are having the six pulses in one cycle, so it means we for uh, P equal to, we have to use the six and then different values. So if you are using n equal to 1, then we will have the 5 and 7 harmonics. For uh, the n equal to 2, then uh, 6 into 2, it is 12 plus minus 1, then it is going to be 11 and 13. And likewise, we will have the different harmonics here. Okay, so if it is not followed by that relation, so that is uh, simply your non-characteristic harmonics. So this is the simple definition you have to remember for your exams. Now, why these are actually happening we have to understand because although we know the characteristic and the non-characteristic harmonics both are harmonious to your uh, the system equipments and the system connections and the system or uh, your uh, system you you can say the supply okay but why these are categorized in different way okay so these are actually due to the first is imbalances in the operation of the two bridges. So it is all and over talking about the 12 pulse converter. Okay, in the 12 pulse converter, we are having the six pulse thyristor or six pulse bridge. On the upper side and on the lower side, we are having another six pulse converter. So if there is an imbalance conditions in between them, both the converters, that is the upper and the lower one or that imbalances may be arises due to the your current okay flow of current and the delay angle the flow of voltage okay that may be arise there so if there is an imbalance in the operations of the two bridges or maybe it may be a chances of the connections also in the 12 pulse converter if this is happening then you can say this uh, uh, may be arise of uh, your non characteristic harmonics okay now we will move for the point number 2 now the point number two is saying that the firing angle error. So if there is a firing angle error, it means the one thyristor should be operated, let us suppose the alpha is equal to 30 degree, another should be operated according to that if we are using the 12 pulse converter. So it should be operated at alpha plus 30 degree. Because in uh, 30, because we are, why we are actually using 30? Because the 30 degree is for the 12 pulse converter. But due to the some uh, conditions or some disturbance or your some connections, what happens? The firing angle may arise. If firing angle error is seen, then there may be a, there may be a cause of non-characteristic harmonics that you have to understand. Now, unbalances and the distortion of the AC bus voltage. So unbalance and the distortions of the AC bus voltage. Fourth is unequal the transformer and the leakage impedance of this. Okay, now we will talk about the different points. Now, the harmonics produced due to the first cause. That is the first cause. It means this imbalance 
in the operations of two bridges forming 12 pulse converter. We have already talked about all the conditions related with that that you have to understand. Harmonics produced due to the first cause that is imbalance is actually called the residual harmonics. As we have seen in the machines, there was the residual voltage, residual magnetism, kind of that here the residual harmonics we have to compare with or we have to and that is analogous to that all. Okay. Now, these are mainly due to the caused by due to the differences in the firing angle in the two bridges and which led to and which led to the unequal cancellations of the harmonics of the 5, 7, 17, 18 and etc. Now, unequal leakage impedance of the two converters transformer feeding the two uh, bridges lead to the residual magnetism. So why the uh, this is residual harmonics I have talked about. This residual harmonics is due to unequal leakage impedance of the two converters transformer. Now, next point is saying that the second, third and fourth, okay, that second, third and fourth, it is talking about the firing angle error, unbalance and the distortion of the AC bus voltages and the unequal transformer leakage impedance. So it is saying the second, third and fourth cause may lead to the generation of the triple N and even ever harmonics, okay, that is the triple N and the even, that is the even, okay. So even harmonics and their analysis is complex. Now. In order to study the impact of these harmonics, what harmonics? The second, third, and fourth are generally analyzed based on the power system simulation tool that is the EMTD. Okay, so it is analyzed by that only. So we have to, there are the many studies uh, related with that analysis of the non characteristic harmonics, but uh, uh, in general, we are using the simulation tool EMTD6. So I hope you have understood all these uh, information related with the, the 12 pulse uh, converter or you can say the non-characteristic harmonics related with these uh, converters. Thank you so much.